Hey there, it's Scott with InsideTheCurve.com, back with another Fusion 360 for Woodworking video. Today we're going to be discussing how to make dados for your woodworking projects. So I'm going to show you two different ways to get that task accomplished. I'll start out with creating a sketch, make it on the top plane. R for rectangle. We're going to make this on a basic sheet of plywood. So D for dimension, we'll go ahead and dimension this. Make this uh, 12 inches. We'll make this 6 inches. So our rectangle there. We'll go ahead and extrude this up to be uh, 3 quarters of an inch. Extrude this out to 0.75. Now we have our basic little sheet of plywood there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a dado right down through here. Now to do this, we're going to create another sketch. We're going to create it on this surface of this rectangle. We'll select the surface of that. We'll zoom in. R for rectangle. We'll put it right there. Now we'll throw some dimensions on here. So for the depth, we'll make it 3 8 so 0.375. A width of 3 quarter, we'll say another piece of 3 quarter inch plywood's gonna go in there, so 0.75. And for our final dimension, to define the sketch, we'll want to make that two inches from that edge. And now you can see it turn black, it's fully defined. We're going to bring out the extrude tool again. Select that surface there. And this time, what we want to do is we want to come over to the, this window here and select the cut. Go ahead and push that all the way through. Select OK. And there we go. There's our dado in our piece of plywood. So that's one way to do it. Let's show the other way. So the second way to do this is to draw it on this top surface. So we'll create a sketch, we'll select this surface here, R for rectangle. Put some dimensions on here again, D for dimension. 0.75 3 inches E for extrude same thing we'll go over to our window over here select cut select that and we want to go negative 0.375 there we have it. There's our dado for whatever we need to do in our project. Well, that's it for this video on making dados. I hope you enjoyed this uh, fusion, are enjoying this Fusion 360 for woodworking series so far. Uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to keep the videos going. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.